Welcome back everybody to a Rodenberg Rocks video. It has been quite the hiatus, about half a year now. Um, just haven't had much time to come out and do some rock hunting. Now it is about later springtime here in northern Minnesota. And I came here early in the morning because there's been lots of rain this past week. The water levels are really high and the water is crystal clear. So I'm hoping we can make some finds. Excited to show you them together. So without further ado, let's get to looking. Kind of an interesting conglomerate there. It's like a ton of Jasper. As well as there's a little bit of agate bands right there that you can see. That's really, really pretty. A little bit too big to take home though. But man, is this water crystal clear. I'm excited to look at these. After a ton of rain, I really, really like to look on these clay cliffs. As many of you who have previously watched my videos have come to know one. There's a lot of new things to show up, especially look at that big piece of porphyry. And compared to the size of my hand, it's a nice chunk with lots of feldspar crystals in there. So I'll be taking a peek on these banks, but it's just so rare to get this water so clear. I just really want to walk in there because the egg, it's really pop when they're wet so probably start here and then on my way back come up the the banks a little bit more i am definitely over layered i have uh, a long sleeve on a sweatshirt and a jacket because duluth is always hit and miss when you get to the lake temperature will tell you it's one thing and when you show up no joke if there's like a 20 degree swing so i always try and come prepared but i'm sweating um but part of the reason i'm coming out here today too is i've been having a lot of um good luck on people liking the agate magnets i make so i if you haven't seen before i make little agate magnets in the shape of minnesota wisconsin and other states um they're typically baby size agates um i like to keep the bigger ones for myself so part of the reason is one i want to still find the big ones but also kind of gives me an excuse to collect some small ones so i can continue to make those things so um yeah so we'll see yet to find anything but it's just so nice to be outside i have missed the summertime and just days like this this is just unbeatable so let's keep going down the shore and see if we find anything potentially the first find is that thing down there Not quite. It's got some agony characteristics. Almost like limonite stained. But nope. We'll leave that one back right there. Now oh, we're getting somewhere. Got a little nodule right there, a little nugget. Not too much bands that I can see on there. A little bit. Really unique shapes in there. Mostly chalcedony, but telling me that there's a lot of new ones washed up so i got some high hopes i'm very surprised with all of the gunk that is on these rocks i mean a benefit is that agates are typically waxy and the gunk doesn't build up like this but man it has been wavy for the last week or 10 days and yes i don't know what forces need to be met or maybe it's more water temperature that that causes this but i'm very surprised to see all this gunk that's on there but that's okay agates shouldn't have that gunk on it they should utilize that wax to just be so slippery that nothing can even build up on it so i'm hoping that's a benefit to us Well, this is a pretty cool rock. That's a galaxy stone. If I've ever kind of known one, look at all those cracks and veins. All these little quartz nodules in there. That one's really, really cool. Wow. Just the wind picking up a little bit. You see all the ripples are there. Now, still very, very clear, but even something just as little as that and why coming early in the morning could be quite a help for finding some things in the water. Now I'm starting to get to some 
less rocky area. So probably span the shore a little bit and see what we can find. Just pulled this one out of the water. I love me some red oolitic jasper. Just something about it just sticks out so much differently among these other rocks. It's just obviously the bright red color, but just the speckles and all about it. Still a cool find. Not too much egg, it's a lot of baby ones, which is which is good, what I'm looking for too. Okay, I think I spotted my first egg of some size. Right there. Looks like a very half nodule. Wow, it's very, very smooth. Not too much. There's a, there's some fine banding in there. It's really, really cool. I like that little quartzy rainbow in there. Pretty cool size. I and mean, if you just sit down and look around, you'll see lots of little itty bitty shards around. And that's what I'm I'm scrounging around picking up. I, I, I do utilize them for my magnets. So I've just been finding a handful of those, but that's the biggest one today. So that's a good find. All right, I'm starting to go a little cross-eyed. The waves are picking up a little bit. Usually what that means is it's time to give the eyes a break, start heading back and call it a day. But I'll show you some of the finds. We found a lot of small baby egg. It's nothing too, too amazing, but quite the handful nonetheless. So I mean, lots of different sizes, lots of itty bitty bands that are in some of these agates. But again, most of these are gonna be used for my own arts and crafts. And there's still a lot of little ones in these areas, but nonetheless, still just an amazing day to be out here. I always enjoy heading back this direction because the first direction I go is the sun's more in my eyes and they don't reflect off the egg. It's, it's probably just based off the angle, the sun in the morning. So on this way back, they're just glowing. So they're very hard to miss, which makes it easier when your eyes are already crossed from looking for so long. So I've already made a couple finds. I'll show you when we get to the end of the beach and then we'll call it a day. So far some pretty decent sized chunks, but I think here's one of the bigger ones of the day. Again, right off the clay cliffs and the sun just beaming on this one. Whoa. It's kind of like painted almost. Wow, that is beautiful. Absolutely love that color. No, no. Hold on, let me find it. It's in that area. Yikes. I'm actually like kind of upset. I have been scrounging in this area for the last like 10 minutes and I just cannot find it. And of course the waves are just not helping my situation down here. So live and learn that I just gotta be more careful while recording because that was a nice agate and I let it go. But what can you do? We're just gonna keep trekking. We are nearing the end. And I can't tell if this is I saw this quartz piece. I cannot tell if those are agate bands, but if that's an agate, like split open, this is beautiful. This will be the find of the day. Oh, those are some agate bands up there for sure. I mean, not much else about it is screaming agate, but wow, that is really cool. You can see the banding right here. Wow, that is a pretty cool piece, very unique. Not very eggy, but there's egg, it's egg it in there. Wow, glad to have found that and make up for my other one. <laughs> 